Hey Virgo, welcome to your love ordeal reading. This is part of my Mystics Journey uh, series in this channel. So I'm starting it this year and hopefully this could give you, give you insights um, with regards to your love, life, and all the other aspects in life. Yeah. So love ordeal will be focusing more on um, the challenges, the experiences that you're having in, in life right now in particular in love. These are quick reads and um, I'm doing this for the month of April. Okay. So let's see what do we have for Leo. What's the love or deal for Leo for the month of April? We have the Ace of Cups. Wow. The Ace of Cups, the Ace of Staffs, and the um, King of Staffs. We have the Temperance, we have the Star, beautiful, we have Chariot, and what is this, Six, yeah, Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords, all right, so a lot of um, significant changes that are happening in your life, um, Virgo, for this time frame. Um, primarily focus on healing and balancing act in life as well as making the decision to move forward or to take control a speedy recovery even yeah all right but the main ordeal I see here for you in love is um, pertaining to uh, having a new passion a new passionate beginning uh, igniting that passion from within yeah your desire for possibly a soulmate your desire to um, find your own destiny it's been pretty difficult because you spend time healing here so that tells me that there could have been some fallout in the past that brought you into the state of wanting to balance things out within you as well as the new normal that you are used to that you are now facing mm -hmm. looking out for that one uh, one star that main direction that destiny that you have been looking for i feel um virgo that you are focused really on this destiny but um not getting it in the past brought you into this state of um, you know the energies are not flowing well for you you're stuck mentally you've been thinking about this perhaps um, you've been filled with a lot of negativity not just on this relationship or connection or life in general but also with your dealings with other people and therefore in as much as the new start is very possible for you you know, you could always start something within a new day. But then the energies within you are not flowing smoothly. Mm -hmm. I feel because you haven't made a decision just yet on whether letting go of um, the past that did not work out, the past hurt, and you haven't made the decision yet on what to do next. But I do see that within this time frame, you will take control of yourself right here, your willpower, and make the, the, this decision, you know. There, there's just going to be that one day within this time frame that you will find yourself, like, you know, you will pick up yourself and, and make a decision that, hey, this is enough. I'm done. I'm done sulking. I'm done being in this block um, mental energy state. And you're moving forward. You're making this decision. Pulling the reins. Yeah? There's no rush here because this energy of healing is very essential. Especially if we're talking about destiny here. If we're talking about that one true love that you have been eyeing for. So healing the past, it's good. For now, it's more like you um, loving you. Mm -hmm. But I see that within this time frame... You will make the decision. 
to take control, to move things forward. It could even involve you fixing what has been broken in the past. So if you feel that things are not balanced right now, you're not, there's no movement and all that, the control is not within you to restart a relationship or even to start a new connection. By the time you, you make a decision for that, the advice here is leave the things that were broken if they are not fixable anymore. But for those that are still fixable, if you reckon they can still be fixed, go ahead and fix it. And that involves even reconciliation if that is within your, your um, consideration right here. Otherwise, this is you moving steadily forward, fast, and things are already within your control. And I do feel that there will, there will be one day within this time frame that you would realize that, hey, you're done with this. You're done with the pain. You're balanced now. You're ready to take this next step. It's beautiful. I hope this helps you, Virgo. And um, stay well.